What's up, comic book community? Joe here with another episode of 360 Comics. Over the weekend, I was super busy. Not only did I get to watch my Eagles win the NFC Championship game and head on to the Super Bowl in two weeks, but I also spent a ton of time cleaning and organizing my comic book room. And in doing so, I came across four Walmart comic packs that I had bought last year to do an unboxing with and never touched. They are still unopened. So I went out to Walmart. I bought four more comic packs and we're going to kind of take a look at them, compare what is inside the old ones and the new ones and see once and for all are the current Walmart comic packs worth it. Stay tuned. I am very excited to proudly announce that we hit our goal of 2,500 subscribers on this YouTube channel, which means it is giveaway time. If you want to win this book, you have a couple more days to enter before I pick a winner this Sunday, February 5th, live on Instagram in the evening. Don't miss out on this. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like this video, and leave a comment down below. That gives you one entry, and you can check out our other videos like them and leave comments on them for additional entries. Good luck. All right, we're going to get started with the older Walmart comic book packs. These are from last year. There's actually two different types. Uh, these are three comics for one terrific price. And this one says Marvel Comics 7 for $10. Uh, I believe the three for one terrific price. I think it's three for $8 if I remember correctly. Um, so, you know, less than $3 a book. Obviously, the 7 for $10 one is a, uh, a much better deal as far as per comic book price. Um, but let's get started. Uh, I always open these with a razor blade. If you are under the age of 18 years old, please ask an adult to help you with a razor blade. But this is just a good way to open these up uh, simply and easily without damaging the comics because there is um, a board in the back. That protects them from the razor blade. Just don't press too hard, obviously. All right, this one has uh, Black Panther number one on the cover. Shame it's not Black Panther three. That's a very good book. Uh, first appearance of Tosin, uh, who is you know, it seems like some version is being utilized in the MCU. Uh, but Black Panther number one can't go wrong with the number one. Great, great for uh, new readers and stuff like that. Okay. Devil's Reign, number one. I really enjoyed this. Uh, Chip Zdarsky is one of the best writers right now. Uh, Daredevil is one of my favorites. This one involves Daredevil, Kingpin, and a lot of the heroes from New York City uh, while Kingpin is mayor. Um, so definitely worth checking out. It's a six-issue um, event series. And the third book... Okay, Star Wars book. Can't really go wrong with Star Wars. Very popular title. Uh, this is... Uh, Star Wars, War of the Bounty Hunters, uh, this is Star Wars 17 from the current run. Uh, it's got a great Luke Vader cover. Um, I don't believe any of these are variants. No, I think these are all just the, the cover A versions of these books. So, decent start, de decent pack right here. Um, again, good for, like, someone who's getting into the hobby. No keys necessarily, though. Um, but yeah, let's, let's keep going. This one, uh, has Venom number two. Uh, I don't believe Venom number two is one of the key issues. Uh, there are a bunch of keys from this, uh, this Venom run early on. I think, I think one and three and six are minor keys. Nothing, nothing special yet, but, uh, you know, we'll have to see where those characters go in the future. Uh, Bedlam, I know, is one of them. Uh, but anyway, Venom, number two, popular character, at least. Uh, second book, we've got, okay, this is uh, Daredevil, number 35. This is part of the run um, where Elektra is uh, is Daredevil, uh, part of the Zdarsky run. And, um, yeah, pretty cool Elektra cover there. And, boom. Whoa, that just got blurry. I don't know why that did that. But uh, Captain America, United States of Captain America 4. Don't think this is a variant cover. It looks like just a cover A. I uh, don't know. I know there were a lot of keys in this uh, this early part of the Captain America, United States of Captain America run. I don't know if this is one of them. Uh, I don't think so. And... Even so, they're like very minor key significances, so nothing really to write home about. Uh, moving on, 
we got some Kate Bishop, another good uh, character who's come to the MCU recently. And this is uh, her, one of her solo number ones. This is the one that came out last year. Like most of these books are from the last year or two. Uh, let's see. So we got Kate Bishop, or sorry, Hawkeye, Kate Bishop, number one. Uh, what else do we got? Boom. Okay, Avengers, number 49. Um, cool cover. Looks like it's just the regular cover A. Don't know anything about this book. Wasn't reading Avengers at this point, but hey, who wrote it? Oh, Jason Aaron Avengers run. Okay, Jason Aaron's popular at least. And uh, Thor, 17. Is this the Donny Cates Thor run? Yeah, this is. 17. I don't believe this is a key. This is a little bit before the the um, the God of Hammers. Uh, but let's see. Yeah, cover A. Um, at least it's a cool cover. And, you know, the Cates Thor run. I've heard good things about it. I'm not a huge Thor fan myself. But, all right. So, you know, nothing very exciting so far for these ones from last year. We do have this one more. And this is the seven comics for ten dollars so less than two dollars a book a little mystery pack can't go wrong with that um oh yeah and it's multiple there's actually multiple packages so this this one has a package as well so it's it's it looks like it's just two of the three packs with another comic put between it so let's let's see what's in this first one Okay, so this is Aliens number one from Marvel Comics. Cool cover, but it's just a cover A. Nothing, again, to write home about. We'll put that off to the side there. Check out the next book. Another Thor book. Uh, this is issue number eight, and this is the second printing. A lot of printing, a lot of second printings and third printings got these, like, horizontal covers in the last couple years. So I got to see if this is a, a key of some sorts. Again, this is part of the Donny Cates Thor run. And the last book right here, boom. Okay, Star Wars, interesting. This looks like a throwback cover, an homage cover. So this is uh, Legends. Is this called Star Wars Legends? Star Wars, the original Marvel Years, number 50, facsimile edition. I have, I've never seen this. I, is that the cover of Star Wars 50? It looks like it could be. It's either the actual cover from then... Or it's someone like kind of homaging that old style um, super size Star Wars saga giant 50 co 50th collector's issue. I don't know about this book. I'm going to have to look this up. If you know anything about it, hey, pop it into the comments down below because I'm always trying to learn more. And uh, that's what we do as a community. Here's that middle book. We've got Fantastic Four Antithesis. Number four, I don't remember what the first appearance of Antithesis is. I think it might be issue number two, but it might be this one. That'd be cool if that was this one, because that's like a, a decent key. But I'm going to have to look that up later. Um, and the very last one until we move on to the current ones. And these have been pretty underwhelming. I guess that Star Wars one's cool, but... Um, so this one had Spider-Man number one. This is the J.J. Abrams run. Cool. Uh, what year was this? Can't find the Indicia. Come on. Where is it? There we go. 2019. So this is the 2019 J.J. Abrams run. This book might have a, a little bit of value. It's definitely a great cover. Is that a Pacelli cover, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, on to the next one. We've got... Uh, oh, by the way, that is a variant cover. It looks like this is cover not number nine. Uh, you can tell by the barcode. The last number in the barcode is going to be the uh, what variant it is or what printing it is. Wouldn't that be what printing? Is this the ninth printing of this book? I don't know. I'm going to have to look that up. If you know, again, leave it in the chat below. Boom. Okay, here's a cool one. Daredevil number 612, the second printing. Very cool cover there with the just little blip on the uh, heart monitor. The death of Daredevil. Uh, I actually have a graded Daredevil 612 already with the Netflix cover. But that's the second printing right there. Might be a low print run. Probably worth looking up. Then we got, ooh, an ASM book. 
Amazing Spider-Man Renew Your Vows 14. Again, the second printing. So that actually seems like a pretty good one. Most of those Marvel second printings are, are pretty sought after because they have different covers and stuff like that. Um, so I'm going to have to look some of those up again. If you know, let me know in the comments below. That last pack was definitely better than the first three that were underwhelming. But we got four more from the present day. Remember, those are from last year. Actually, those are... I don't think any of those books are from before 2020. Uh, well, no, the Venom, the Venom one is. But definitely that last pack was like all books from 2019, maybe 2020. Uh, so let's get into these. We got a, a Moon Knight. We've got Captain America. We've got Shang-Chi. And we've got Edge of Spider-Verse. We're going to just do those in uh, whatever order we pull them out in. So we're doing uh, Shang-Chi and the Ten Rings, number first. Number first. We'll do this first. Uh, this is issue number one. Let's take a look. And see what we got. So we got, boom, that book. We saw that already. I don't think this is a variant. I lied. It is a variant. It says so on the back. Variant cover. A lot of the variants have these all gray covers as well uh gotta look and see maybe it's a ratio variant that'd be pretty cool is that um i thought it was peach momoko art at first but it's not i don't recognize the signature um spider punk okay spider punk number three this is a character blasting off in popularity uh recently cast announcement has been made for across the spider verse so we'll be seeing that character on the screen uh later this year right fall fall across the spider verse i think uh last but not least boom okay a design cover Ooh, it's uh namor as well these are usually one in 10 or one in 15 variants i believe i forget which one but um Maestro number four, and it's a Namor design variant. Definitely can't complain about that. That one's probably worth, those typically are worth anywhere but like from five to $15. Uh, Namor, pretty popular character right now. Um, you know, if I could get $10 out of it, that'd be awesome because that would pay for the pack. Uh, next one is Captain America, and this is Captain America Zero, and it does feature. Um, Sam Wilson as Captain America, who will be the Captain America going forward in the MCU. And, um, yeah, this is his current run, I guess. I don't really know much about it, but it's a really great cover there. Is that Alex Ross? Certainly looks like an Alex Ross's style, but I do not see a signature. Anyway, Captain America Zero. Next, we got Black Widow, number four. 14 uh this is a variant cover interesting art choice almost looks like like cartoony but like i don't, I don't know how to explain it like adulty cartoony <laughs> does that make any sense uh i hope you guys understand what i'm talking about very cool cover though with natasha in the tub with some guns and wine <laughs> and the last one ooh, number one okay wolverine patch number one this was uh telling uh, you know, more stories about his time uh, using the patch alias. And this is the second printing of the book. Pretty cool cover. I think this is a book that people probably, uh, you know, pick up the second printing for. All right, two more here. And then we'll kind of do a little analysis. I think that was a, a pretty decent pack. Um, we're on to the Moon Knight pack now. And I'm sorry the camera keeps going in and out of focus. I'm not sure why that's happening. Maybe because I'm moving the table around a little bit. But thank you for bearing with me. Uh, boom. Moon Knight, number one. This is the facsimile edition. This must be a facsimile. Oh, it is. Okay. I did not know that this what this was. I thought this was just a different cover of like the Walmart exclusive number one. This is actually a facsimile of Moon Knight One from 1980. Um, very cool. They just slapped a new cover on it, but I just opened it up and I saw the story that I recognize as being Moon Knight One from 1980, um, which is a great read, by the way. If you haven't read Moon Knight, uh, probably the first thing that anyone should read as far as Moon Knight goes. Uh, then we got uh, another Shang-Chi book. 
issue number 10, and it is a variant cover. I don't know if that's just a cover B or if it's a ratio, but pretty cool cover. Yeah, doesn't look anything like anything special, though. Um, and, ooh, this last one's cool looking. Hellions number 18, and this is a second printing. And, again, all these second printings sometimes do have really low print runs. You got to look out for them. Um, but just remember that supply, low supply, does not mean value. Just because there's su low supply doesn't necessarily mean there's demand enough um, to bring the value of the book up. There needs to be low supply and at least a decent amount of demand to bring it above, you know, being a dollar book or something. So, uh, I don't know. I'm going to have to look into those. If anyone knows anything about those books that I, that I showed off, um, I would say that overall pretty decent. Um, those first three packs that I opened from last year were pretty underwhelming. Uh, but that third pack had some cool stuff in it. Um, I would say the newer packs, in my opinion, I was more excited about those than the older ones, uh, on average, on average. And, you know, this is a small sample size, so you, you never know, like there might be some better stuff out there, um, in these Walmart packs that I did not see. I kind of just wanted to do small sample size and, and kind of just show you what you get. Um, do I think these are worth buying? If you want stuff to read if you want it like something to check out to see if you're interested in reading it or picking up the other issues in the run um these are these are good for that you know you get them for less than cover price so you're getting these books for less than you would if you were buying them off the rack in a comic book store um you're getting them for even less than if your store has a subscription discount which some stores do they typically offer like 10 or 15 percent off if you have a uh you know pull list with subscriptions um you know you're, you're getting them in, in that that one pack, you're getting them for less than $3 a pack, uh, for the, for the three pack, um, which is more than 20% off of cover price, at least because the lowest value of any of these Marvel books cover price wise is $4. Um, some of them are five, $6. Uh, some of them are even more than that, but I think all the ones that I opened today were like four five or six. Um, so you're getting good value if you're going to read the books. If you're looking to score an expensive book, it's probably not going to happen. Last year, actually, I think it was two years ago at this point, um, there were some very high ratios and exclusive covers that were showing up in these. Probably was accidental or even if it wasn't accidental, it was intentional. Marvel has seemed to kind of pull back on doing that probably from backlash from collectors that they were putting more copies of those out in the market, thus dropping the value. Um, and if I was someone that had an exclusive and it ended up in a Walmart pack, I would be really upset about that. Um, especially if I was the creator of the exclusive, whether it's an artist or a comic book store or something, um, so yeah, I mean, I, I think that these are decent if you're just getting into the hobby or if you're just kind of looking to branch out and you want to kind of see what else is out there. Um, but you know, as far as, as value wise for collectability, you're better off just buying, you know, certain single issues keys that you want. But as far as reading goes, these things are great. Um, you know, the only issue that I see is that, while there are a lot of issue ones that are included in here, there's also a lot of random issues that might plop you in the middle of the story and you're missing context, whether it's in, you know, uh, previous issues or um, another run or something like that. But, uh, you know, you can kind of work around that by just kind of paging through and seeing, is this something that I want to get into? Um, but yeah, the, you know, obviously starting with an issue number one, you're safe there. Um, so if Marvel included some more issue number ones and less of those random issues, that might be good. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have to take a look and see if there was any value in any of these. Probably not, uh, as far as like collectability and stuff, but uh, definitely good reading potential. When I buy these packs, by the way, a lot of these books either go into my dollar bins or I just give them away to people um, because a lot of them do not have much value beyond cover price. 
Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something. And, uh, you know, if you feel like grabbing any of those Walmart comic packs or if you have bought them in the past, let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, and of course, if you know anything about the books that I opened that I wasn't aware of, let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, uh, we will see you sometime this week on Instagram for uh, our weekly live sales. Also, this Saturday, if you're in the Philadelphia area, I will be at Upper Moreland Intermediate School Saturday, February fourth from 10 to 2 uh, for a convention there and of course uh, just a little bit over a month away actually sorry a uh, little bit under two months away um, King Con that is March 25th and 26th in Isla, New Jersey. I'll be joined by a ton of other dealers, uh, Bronzeville Comics, Very Gary Comics, uh, Erod212, Streetside Anthony, uh, NRG, Fury Comics. The list goes on and on. It's such a good day. And there'll be, even be some artists there doing signings, sketches, remarks, and things like that. Also, just a heads up. Again, for people in the Philadelphia, South Jersey area, I will be coming back with more Back Deck Comic Fests um, March. I'm thinking March. As long as the weather is okay, Saturday, March 11th is my tentative date. So mark it on your cal calendar, but put a little asterisk next to it because that may change depending on the weather and stuff like that. But as of right now, Saturday, March 11th is going to be the, the first Back Deck Comic Fest of 2023. The third one overall um, had a really great time last year. I'm going to stop babbling now. I'm going to let you go about your day and do your thing. Hit that like button and leave a comment on the way out. And subscribe if you haven't yet. Follow on Instagram. And until next time, turn the page, wash your hands.